There it is. Thus far, it hasn't even been started. And I can't wait. Understand this buckle. All right. All right step back down. I've been excited about this. Best swing ever. Shoot. So now what? So now those oscillations I was talking about. Okay. What's going to happen as the glider moves? You're going to pull on your left brake. That glider's going to move left, and you are going to swing out to the right. So you're going to be right here. All uh right. -huh. Now put that left hand up out of the, after the turn. Do you stop in the middle? No, you keep no. swinging. This is exactly what's going to happen to you. Now what's your natural reaction going to be? I'm going to push you and I want you to counter naturally what you think is going to stop those oscillations. So I'm a little slow, but I guess I go... And I'm doing it backwards. This is wrong, isn't it? This, no, this is the right thing, but this would not be your natural reaction. Your natural reaction would That's be what I was to do this. No. You're going to turn right, and it's you're going to totally pull unfair left. when I do it right, and you this. tell me no. I get it wrong. No, no, no. no. <laughs> is, I just want to say we're going to practice this, regardless, uh -huh. but what you need to do, as you and in the beginning, we're not going to do anything. We're going to let those oscillations cancel themselves out. But just so you guys understand, as you as you move right, I'm sorry, left. As you move left, you're going to pull left. As you move right. You're gonna pull right. Okay, so this is the right thing to do. That's but that's hardly what you anyone do. does that by instinct. Nobody does that by instinct. Your instinct is gonna be I'm swinging right. I don't want to go right. I'm gonna pull left. I see. Yeah, because you go in here, it makes you want to go exactly. And this is exactly the body body posture people get too. They're going like this. They're going. Uh, uh, yeah. Like so, hey, question: How would you fix the oscillation with weight shift? Right, so I guess is, can you push me again? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so as I'm going here, what I want to do is. You can't really fix it with weight shift. You can't. Because you were, due to the pendulum, you're going to be weight shifted already. Weight shift left, weight shift right. So this is automatically going to happen. There's much, not much you can do about that. So you would do it with the brakes. Uh, I don't know if you can see or hear, but today is a rainy day. But not all is lost because we're catching up on ground training. Apparently everyone else that I've been like training with got their ground training while I was in California. So today is an opportunity for me and Brian over there to catch up to the rest of our class, which is nice because we get to stay together and learn together and such. There's not a lot of like vlog worthy ground training. We're just huddled around his desk. I can show it to you actually. And we're going over the syllabus and you know point by point talking about the things that we need to learn. A lot of it we've covered before and we're reiterating it. I am it's my nature to research the heck out of things. Like I just go bonkers with learning everything I can. And I came in here I guess overestimating how much I knew. And that's been it's, it was a good exercise. It's a good instructor because you know, he wasn't a jerk about it or anything, but it opened my eyes to the fact that 
I, I had a lot to learn. So there are four stages of learning. Check this out. I, I learned it in some class once. The first one is unconscious incompetent. And that's when you don't know how much you don't know. And that's where I started. I came in here, I thought I knew something. And then the second stage of learning is conscious incompetent. So you don't know what you're doing, but you've become aware of how far behind the curve you are. The next stage is conscious competent, when you know how good you are, then unconscious competent, where it's second nature and you forget that other people aren't as smart as you. Anyway, I'm probably still first stage on this thing, uh, or, or maybe second, I'm conscious and competent. I recognize that I have a lot to learn and that's why I'm here. So um, each time I come out here, it's a six hour round trip drive, three hours each way, roughly. And uh, it's worth it. I aspire for June to be awesome. If things go right, at the end of June, I've got a swimming pool in my backyard. I can fly away anytime I want. And the stable workshop thing is completely finished and operational. That can all get done this month. So it's June 1st. This is my third training course out here. And I'm learning a lot. It's fun. We use the simulator. We're doing paperwork and, uh, you know... This is what it takes. I, I, because paramotoring is unregulated and anyone can just strap one on their back and go flying, I thought that meant it was easy, but that's not what it actually means. The, the FAA says that since you're only posing a risk to yourself, knock yourself out. The FAA isn't saying this is so easy anyone can do it. They're saying, you know, like I just said, you can do it at your own risk. So um, yeah, it's important to take a course, have an instructor and, and get rid of that risk. Uh, more important than I knew before I started learning. I, uh, they, they, you know, pilots have a name, Maverick, Iceman, Goose, etc. cetera. Uh, I told them that I was this unique snowflake who would get it, uh, you know, right off the bat. I would hardly require any lessons. And now Snowflake is possibly my pilot name. Uh, I don't know. I, maybe I do kind of like it. Uh, so anyway, I'm not the unique snowflake I thought I was. It takes a lot of lessons, and that's why I'm here. So, good days. When the night has come and the land is dark And the moon is the only light we all see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stay stand by me So darling, darling, stay so it is now going on midnight i uh i had a full day today i did about six hours of driving about five hours of classroom work and now it is time to edit which i'll be at for one to two hours uh we'll see how it works out <sighs> I'm excited about flying. Uh, you know, I, I talked about it earlier in the video. For me, it was a long time ago. I'm fully aware that I need training and I'm not ready yet. I just wish I was. And uh, Marco does a good job of like managing those expectations. Also, it becomes plainly apparent um, as you go through the courses that, that you've got more to learn. If you guys are interested in flying, I'll throw a link in the description or maybe on the screen. We'll see. I'll make it up as I go along. And, uh, um, you can check out uh, the school and what they are up to. So, um, yeah, give them some views. Make them feel good. Click the link in the description. For me, it is time to do some work. Editing. <laughs>